Right, for decades, environmentalists have been fighting to put an end to the use of off-road vehicles at the Oceano Dunes. The California Coastal Commission is set to vote next month on that issue. KSBY's Kelly Moore found out that this has area business owners concerned. Kelly, what are they saying? Karina, you know, it's really mixed emotion from protecting the environment to protecting the economy. A lot of people visit this area because they come here to drive on the dunes and this translates into revenue. But having hundreds of thousands of people drive on these beaches takes a toll on the environment. This is my third time here. Mohammed Karani comes to this area to camp and drive on the dunes. This is special, you know. Usually everybody is busy, so we have no chance to get together and enjoy like a weekend. But come July 11th, choosing to come to the dunes might look a little different. Current coastal permit allows for 1,000 RV campers per night, but the Coastal Commission wants to cut this number by 30 percent, which means 300 fewer RVs parked on the dunes every night. I think what people need to understand is that what's behind this rather amazing new staff report that's saying it's time to look at a future of no off-highway vehicle activity in the Oceano Dunes is the fact that there's been 30 years of problems. In 2018, the Coastal Commission closed 150 acres of the dunes to mitigate dust pollution for those who live on the Pomo Mesa and to protect the endangered western snowy plover. Right now, there are about 1,100 acres open to the public. If the plan is approved, roughly 450 acres would be closed to the public. Area business owners worry if that happens, fewer people will come to the area. Our sales go up about 70% in the summertime. Most of those people being people that camp at the dunes for their family tradition and the fact that it could be closed or less people will be coming means that my business and all of the surrounding businesses in all of five cities will be affected by this. According to the Oceano Dunes District Economic Impact Report, park visitors brought $158 million to the area from 2016 to 2017. The South County Chamber of Commerce says, quote, the closure or continued reduction of the off-highway vehicle riding area at the Oceano Dunes State Park would be extremely detrimental to the local business community. Many small businesses in South County could not continue without the tourism dollars generated by the OHV riders. The businesses that do not directly serve tourists still benefit from the ancillary spending. It is estimated that 3,300 jobs were generated as a result of travel spending related to the Oceano Dune State Park and Pismo State Beach. In a 65-page staff report, the Coastal Commission says, quote, it is time to start thinking about ways to transition the park away from high-intensity OHV use to other less intensive forms of public access and recreation. And as part of that report, staff is also recommending that if Arroyo Grande Creek, which is just down the beach from us, is flowing, people won't be allowed to cross to go camp. And also, no riding ATVs on the dunes at night. Live and local in Oceano tonight, Kelly Moore, KSBY News. All right, Kelly, thanks for breaking that down for us. And the Coastal Commission will vote on July 11th during a public hearing. You can find more information about that hearing on KSBY.com.